works. Tell us, uh, this whole iron bolt thing. What is, what is all this, this crazy rival? What does it mean to you? Um, specifically to me, I feel like it's just another chance for our team to go out there and show what we made up. Um, you know, it's a big, you know, it's really important to the people of Alabama um, that this rivalry is important to them. So you got to think about that, take that into consideration. But all in all, I feel like it's just another chance for us to show what this team is made of. How much do you fall back onto some of the rivalry type matchups that you've experienced in your life that can help you with this go around and the preparation, really? Um, you know, um, the rivalries that I faced in my life, um, what you can take from those are, you know, you know the team is going to, you know, I guess play a little bit harder, play with more grit um, because of the importance of the game, you know, what they, what it, what the game means to them as an individual and as a team. Um, but all in all, once, once the whistle blows, you know, you know, it's you versus them, just like any other football game. But you know, you do expect there to be more emotion, more passion in the game. So you know, you prepare for all that. But at the end of the day, it's you versus me. It's the last game you guys are going to get during this, you know, this season. Oh, the last chance you're going to have to impress any kind of committee before they make their decisions. How do you approach that? Um, you know, we approach it like we approach every game. You know, we take it one game, get one game at a time. You know, and we. You know, just try to dominate, try to execute our box every play. You know, we can't, you know, with this position we in, we can't, we can't do nothing but control what we can control and try to put it in the hands of those who make decisions. So at the end of the day, we got to approach it just like any other game. We got to dominate the team that we play and make them quit. How much did you as an, I'm going ahead. I was going to say it's a loud place down there. How important is it going for you guys to keep big plays to keep the crowd out of it? Yeah, um, you know, we played. You know, I was fortunate to play there um, two years ago. Uh, I think we had lost that game. Um, you know, but I just seen the importance of how they feed off their crowd and have the momentum, especially even playing away at any place. You know, their crowd does feed off the momentum off the plays that they make. Um, you know, noise, things like that. But at the end of the day, you know, we got to limit, limit, um, take the crowd out the game, make them sit out there, sit on their hands. You know, try to make the stadium empty by the end of the game. So. That way that they just have to sit down and play football. They can't rely on, you know, emotion and getting the fans into the game, but just sit down and make them play good solid football. How much do you as an individual cherish this moment? Uh, because there is so much at stake and there is so much pride on the line and all that, but just to be in this type moment and have this opportunity, what does that mean? Um, you know, I, I do get to cherish this moment um, a little bit more just because you know, aside from the fact that it is a, a rivalry game, but you know this is really set in stone, kind of like the last game, the you know, last regular season game here with the guys. So, you know, this this week of practice, this week of preparation, is going to mean that much more. You know, just to me as an individual, because you know this is really the last time we get to do this, you know, per se. But you know, you know, it's just special. You know, this is a special time. You know, it's a special time for us to come together and what what more to do it than a big rivalry for the state of Alabama. You know, and again, that means a lot to a lot of people. Anything else? As a guy that's been in this game before playing, starting, anything that you can get with Mac compared to mentally to what he's about to face? Um, as far as what we do out there in practice, I feel like that's all we can do, just kind of get prepared for the speed of the game that he's going to see. Um, but aside from that, you know, Mac Jones has, has a great preparation that he does for himself, you know. I sit across from him in the locker room. I see the way he prepares, you know, the way he take care of his take care of his body. You know, meeting up there with Shark. I see him up here when I'm up here. So I mean, me as an individual, us as a team, you know, we can just help him with his confidence. But as far as preparation, how to execute the plays when they're called down the distance, and how to manage the game, I feel like Mac Jones has come a long way in doing that. You know, I feel like, you know, he's understanding the importance of being a good quarterback, being a great elite quarterback. So I feel like, you know, we got all the confidence in Mac Jones, but I already know he's doing the necessary steps that he feels like we need to do to uh, execute the game plan. All right. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you.